Now then, we're on with a bit of free propane recycling and towards the end of this video I'll be posing a few questions about the efficacy of all this lot. Right, let's crack on. Right, this is a smallish LPG donut and if you can see in there I've actually cut out the steel base and closer in you can see the the terminal that's probably a good idea yeah there's a solenoid there that's a solenoid and that what that pipe there is the output so we couldn't get to that so we had to cut the steel plate out the way okay that was fine because the solenoid was closed and the valves were closed. So we cut that out of the way. Let me just zoom in a bit now, move the camera. So I've loosened that off. Yeah. And it will undo. Now luckily, I did make an adapter to fit into there at least I'm hoping it's the right one and here's the adapter this end goes to a hydraulic fitting and this end is the same as that yep and I soldered the two bits of pipe together using a technique that I've explained in a different video and I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. It's a way of um, joining two dissimilar sized pipes um, for pressure with solder and a set of mole grips and um, it's used in the refrigeration industry quite a lot. So there we go, let me just come round here. So now we've got the background. So what we need to do is I need to attach that adapter to this and then we'll, and then over there on that wheelbarrow, we've got the rest of the pipe work apart from that blow lamp, which we don't need to attach. And then we'll get a, a gas cylinder and 12 volt battery and we'll energize the solenoid which is just down there let's go to the other side there we go there's the solenoid Whoop. yeah that is the input okay there's the solenoid there's the wiring we put 12 volts into that and it opens up a valve Okay, let me get the rest of this sorted. I'm doing this today, and I'm probably repeating myself, because A, it's still, and B, it's beautiful, warm sunshine. We want this tank to be warm, to increase the pressure, and it, moving the liquid gas is all about pressure differentiation, yeah? And we have to have the tanks the right way round. Now this needs to be laid down and all these LPG car tanks the pipe, the delivery pipe to the engine comes from the bottom of the tank. That way you're, you're moving liquid gas or LPG in a liquid form right, to the evaporator in the engine uh, compartment you're not moving gaseous LPG or gaseous petroleum or whatever, petroleum gas. Right, starts to get a bit complicated there. But never mind, let's carry on. Right, we're early there. This is a strange contraption that um, I got from Uncle Harold's shed. And there's loads of Uncle Harold videos about his workshop. That's a valve and that's a valve. So when I open that one, 
then this connects through there. That's a, a connector I made a while ago and it goes into the tank. So when I open that valve, gas under pressure or liquid under pressure should go that way. So we've got it all wired up. Just down there we've got a battery. Let's move the camera again. So the tank's in the sun and there's a light breeze. There's the battery. Okay, I'm going to connect the solenoid up, then there should be a hiss. Then I'm going to open the valve to that bottle and we'll see what happens. Okay, then we'll open the valve to the bottle. I can hear something. I've got to hear. Listen. We've got a bit of a leak. So I'll get back to you in a moment. Right. Tighten that up. And that's all right. And um, through experimentation, I've realized that is an isolating valve and it's switched off at the moment. So when I've connected everything, I'll open that with a spanner and let the gas through. Okay, we've attached the solenoid, we've opened the bottle, right, and I'll open this, what size is that? Is that 16? There we go. Hopefully you heard that. I don't want that to undo all the way. So now we need to warm this up. Well, keep it warm for it to move the liquid. So I'm going to get the hot air gone. Even though it's in the sun and we will be transferring, the difference in heat makes all the difference. What you want is the, the liquid to evaporate in the donut and therefore raise the pressure and then that pressure of actual gas pushes the liquid down the delivery pipe into the tank. As you can see, it's nothing to get panicked about, but you've got to be a bit careful. You don't want any sparks, do you? Another piece of equipment from Uncle Harold's workshop. I've been, as you can see with the clay on there, I've been using it for drying pottery and whatnot. Mid construction, just sort of drying the clay off a bit so that you can do the next thing. Anyway, I'm going to leave that on there for 10 minutes. Look, beautiful sun, bit of extra heat. We'll move all that liquid. There we go. 20 four and a half kilos so we put four and a half kilos in there don't seem to be getting any more it wasn't that heavy so I'm not surprised but four and a half kilos is worth having and I've got another tank there so I'm going to drain that one as well so here's that other tank it's quite a small one I'm guessing I don't know, 30 litres, something like that, maybe 40 litres. And I was just trying to work out which way up it should be. And I'm going on the fuel gauge. Whoop. So it looks like it's got about 35% contents. I'm assuming that's the right way up it should be. I've got a connector onto the solenoid. I'm just going to wire the solenoid up and then open the bottle valve and put some more gas in there. Right then, I'm just letting that small tank download because there's a different there's not so much of a difference in pressure because when we started off obviously 
the, uh, the domestic tank was empty so there was a huge flow of liquid LPG. Yeah? Now it's a bit steadier and the sun's starting to go down a bit. So we'll just let it there sit there for an hour or so and maybe shut everything off and do some more in the heat of the day tomorrow. Yeah. Hopefully you find this interesting. Some of you will say, why are you doing this? Well, a lot of scrapyards yeah, don't want to deal with this sort of thing. And I've had tanks that has had 60 litres of LPG in them. And it might take a little bit of time, but you'll fill two of those, uh, those 19 kilo bottles and a bit more. So it's worth doing. Um, and also it's saving that accident in the scrapyard where the tank gets punctured. Mmm, yeah? So, um, tell me what you think. Discussions, concepts, yeah? Okay, should we be moving away from uh, LPG or should we be effectively recycling this? Yeah, to prevent it going out into the atmosphere as propane, which is an entire possibility. Yeah, let's have a discussion about this, and I will speak to you soon. Oh, and um, by the way, uh, YouTube are messing me around something rotten. So anybody who would who enjoys these videos and gets benefit from them, if you would care to be a Patreon subscriber, uh, donator, um, I'd really appreciate that because, as I said before, uh, YouTube money is going down and if anybody gains benefit from the videos, please consider a donation. Right, I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers for now.